guys, my name is Kylie Bologna. Welcome, if you guys are new with us, welcome back if you've been here before. It is officially Valentine's Day, which is so exciting, but also a little nerve wracking. If you guys are single girlies like me, you are probably staying in for the night. So tonight it is just a me, you, and Kenneth is here too. But it's just a little girls night and we are about to have the time of our lives. We are making heart shaped pizza tonight and I have heart cookies and we're gonna sit on a platter and then I'm gonna take an everything shower and just, ugh, be in utter divineness. This is Blue Rose Pedialyte. Cause I haven't been feeling too good for this week, but very, very yummy. And I think it looks so cute in um, my Rachel Zoe glasses. I also cut my finger on a knife this week, which was very tragic, but I'm okay. It was literally just like most of my nail, which is really good. Could have been a lot worse. I also got this bracelet from my grandma. Um, it's a crystal I don't remember, but it is specifically for good luck and fortune. So, you know, can never have too much of that. I'm very excited for my pizza. I just went to the store today and I went and it was so busy. Like, unbelievably busy, but it's okay. We are gonna set the moods in two different ways. Step one, grab your little apron. This is actually like a full-size apron. Like um, an overhead one, and I flip it in so that it's specifically waist. I just, it makes me feel very like housewife, and I kind of love that. Like even my kitchen, especially when I film in it, it makes me think about when I'm older. I want a house with like a big kitchen and lots of room and like an island and like lots of counter space. Because in this apartment, this counter is all I got. Step two for setting the mood, we are gonna light my watermelon candle. This is my favorite candle right now. And it just smells so good, and it helps set the vibes. It is now time to get this pizza working. This is flour, and I'm just done. You guys probably make pizza. Um, I grew up making pizza in my family. Like, we would always make pizza. I think about a life a lot more where I make time to bake a lot more. So for those of you who don't know, I actually went to school for culinary arts. I went for baking and pastry. Um, but I also like grew up in a house with, my dad went to culinary school, my sister went to culinary school, and my great aunt went to culinary school, which I think is in some capacity, the reason we all went. And um, like, I just miss cooking as much as I used to. And it's something I truly, truly enjoy. And I love it, you know? This dough is really nice. It's been setting out for a while. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys throw pizzas either. But like, I don't know. This isn't something I ever learned in school. But this is something we used to do growing up a lot. And like, I'm sure you guys make pizza and you guys have made pizza. I'm sure you guys have made pizza before. I just think it's really cool to be able to see how everyone does things so differently. I like a little bit of a thicker crust, but um, I'm just working in that dough with my hands, but really soft, firm hands and just molding it into a heart shaped. This is my pizza pan. My cute little heart. Um, and now it's time to sauce her up, put some cheese on her, and I actually got pepperoni. So I'm very excited I'm making a pepperoni pizza. Valentine's Day is actually one of my favorite holidays. I just think it's really fun and cute and like, Valentine's Day is just very pink. It's very cute and like, that's very much my aesthetic all year round. So it's nice that I get to like show it off once a year. Honestly, I also really like being single on Valentine's Day. I think it's really important to just like step back and just like watch everybody be happy. Whether you're with somebody or not, like you can still find like happiness in you. 
Also, like, if you're not happy with yourself first, nobody's ever going to be happy with you. And if you're not happy with yourself, you're probably never going to be happy with somebody else. Because, like, nobody's going to save us. These are also just things I've had to, like, reteach myself and reteach myself. And it's very important. I just really, truly enjoy being able to take this time, like, especially, like, on Valentine's Day, to just remember that I am so in love with myself. And that's, like, a good thing. Like, it's a great thing. It's also Valentine's Day, so I'm going to put an unreal amount of cheese on this pizza because I love cheese. It's so good. Some pepperoni. Oh, This is like the good pepperoni because it's like the big ones. Ah! This pizza looks so cute. I'm going to show you guys. Look at my little heart pizza. Guys, it's so cute! Okay guys, the pizza is in the oven, which is so exciting. And I want this thing for yeast that I've already dipped into a little bit. But I want to put them on my fancy plate to make me feel fancy. That's like my favorite thing to do. It just enhances the vibes, you know? And honestly, like Valentine's Day is usually my excuse to make like chocolate covered strawberries. But this year, okay, actually that was my plan this year. And then I went to the grocery store this morning and it was so busy that I got so nervous. And I was like, yeah, I want cookies. So then I just grabbed the cookies. And then as I'm checking out, I'm like, oh, I forgot strawberries and chocolate. And then I was like, you know what? I already got cookies. I was like, I guess I don't need it. Because I also went to look for flowers to fill up my new vase that I just got. It's like pink. It's so pretty. And they didn't have any roses that I liked. My favorite roses are like pink. So I'm always like, ah, I just know what I want. And that's like the best and worst. It's because like I know what I want, but then I'm a little disappointed. Like, I won't buy things unless I really, really like them. Like, this just looks so cute. They're just like heart shaped cookies. They're so good. I just think it's really important for us to sit down this Valentine's Day and just to remind ourselves that, like, we are it. We are the boss girls. The boss girls with their cool cats, you know. We are doing so many incredible things this year. And it's really important. For us to just sit, the time, sit down, take the time, and like appreciate that, and appreciate ourselves. Because like the last couple days have been really hard for me. I haven't been very motivated. I haven't been wanting to get up, and like I said, I wasn't feeling too hot. So like my body just kind of hurts, and it's like, like as hard as it is sometimes, you kind of just got to do it. Because the more we do it, and the more we just push through, like, Yes, is there a limit sometimes? Absolutely. But I want to, I want to work. I want to make this work and I want to make us work because I love us. I'm going to pull a pizza out and then I am so excited for this kind of everything shower and to just really sit down and to just have a moment and have some time with myself. This little heart-shaped pizza is so freaking cute. Look at it. It's adorable. The pizza looks so good. Like, so good. And I just want to tell you guys, as I was cutting it, the pan slipped. And it knocked over my Paris Hilton, um, whatever those pots are called, Dutch ovens. It knocked over, and I like, grabbed it so quick because I was terrified it was going to break. And it knocked over my little like pottery things, like planters that I had pre-painted a while ago. And I just want to tell you, so many of my things have been like breaking lately. Like these fine china plates that I have, I had a set of four and I was washing them last week and like one of them just shattered in my hand. And it's like, I like big things are happening. Big changes are happening. Like I can feel it. And it's just kind of like, like it's things that are like, not crazy important because like even these plates i really like 
but I've been wanting new plates and dishware. So it's like, I just, I feel the change. I am going to eat because I'm starving and then we are gonna relax. I am so excited. I'm gonna get in the shower right now. Um, the vibes are just absolutely vibing right now. And I kind of redid my bathroom. I got like these new plaid print towels, like these pink checkered, these are not plaid. And I also got a bank, uh, I also got a lavender and white checkered rug from Rachel Zoe. So I will show you guys that in a minute, but let's go take a full, immaculate, glorious shower because we deserve it. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower. I'm sorry if the audio in here is A, a little weird, and B, if you guys don't like this camera angle, I'm so sorry. I'm trying something a little different because before I had you guys in the cupboard, can't really see it, you can't open it, but before I had you guys in the cupboard, so, if you don't like this camera angle, I'm sorry, but I do think it works a little bit better for me, even though you guys are still a little bit in the way. I also took off my band-aid, <laughs> and my finger looks so bad, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm using my Indie Lee face wash that I literally always use, I swear by this stuff. These cuffs are from Estee Lauder. I am first... I'm first going to go in with the Skin Fix ABH BHA Resurfacing Exfoliating Pads. I like to do these once a week, and honestly, they smell like chemicals, and I kind of love it. ABHA and BHA is basically um, an exfoliator. So it's just going to go in and resurface all that junk that's in my skin. As I said, this like last couple, honestly, I said the last couple days, but honestly, the last couple weeks have been really hard for me. So this is honestly the first time I haven't even touched my skin in a while. So even just doing this just makes me feel really good. This is my Peach Slices Snail Mucin Blemish, Blemish Busting Toner. It's basically like a hydrating snail mucin toner. And it's just really nice. This is the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Hyaluronic Acid is just really good to hydrate the heck out of your skin. It makes me really sad when I don't like to do my skincare because I love to do my skincare. It's just one of those things that just brings me so much happiness because it's like I'm just taking time for me and that is so important. Then I'm gonna go in with my retinol eye cream from Peach and Lily. This stuff is really nice. Would I rebuy it? Probably not. Do I think it's terrible? No. I think my favorite eye cream of all time is still and forever probably will be the Lancome one. Then going in with the Murad Resurf Resurf Agents Retinol Resculpt Overnight Treatment. I really like this retinol because unlike any retinol I've tried before, this one's like a cream, so it's really thick. And it's so nice. So I absolutely love this stuff. Retinol is really good for like anti-aging and wrinkles and stuff like that. But it's also really good for acne. Which is why I use retinol. So at the end of the day, I'm 20. You don't really need to start your anti-aging skincare till you're 25. I'm going in with this Clarins Double Serum in their light texture. I really like this. And I have it on the lowest like pump setting. And I do one squirt on each. And then I also mix this with the Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. And I just do one drop on each side. Like, I just love taking time. You guys have heard me talk about this moisturizer a ton if you've been here before. This is the Beekman Bloom Cream. And it is just my favorite in the whole wide world. I don't think I'd switch to any other moisturizer over this, honestly. This is the Ordinary Lash Serum. I've probably been using this serum since it came out, and honestly, I really love this stuff. And I live to end my skincare routine with some Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Is that probably doing anything for my skin? Probably not. 
Does it make me feel great? Absolutely, and that's the point. We are going to change into our PJs, so we will be right back. Me and Kenneth are going to go finish my hair and then just get ready for bed because I have to be at my day job nice and early. I love you all so much, and I hope you had the most immaculate Valentine's Day ever. This is your sign to just remember to put you first and to treat yourself and make this special if you're spending it alone. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.